Hi, I am Dr. Aditya Shah, Consultant Gastroenterologist, Manipal Hospital, Whitefield. Fatty liver is a condition in which there is excessive deposition of fat in the liver. It is a very common condition. It affects around 20 to 30 percent of the people globally. It is very common in alcoholic patients. It also affects people who do not consume alcohol. Today, we are going to concentrate on people who do not consume alcohol and the condition is called as non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. It usually progresses from non-alcoholic fatty liver disease to NASH which is non-alcoholic steatohepatitis which further leads to fibrosis of liver. Fatty liver per se is not dangerous. It is dangerous only if it is not treated or managed properly. It can lead to liver failure if not managed properly because of continuous irritation of the liver cells. It can also cause permanent scarring of the liver leading to fibrosis and in turn leading to cirrhosis. At times, it can also progress into liver cancer. The commonest causes of fatty liver are diabetes, obesity and high cholesterol levels. Initially, it was believed that non-obese people do not have fatty liver. But fatty liver is also found in patients with normal body weight. Fatty liver was considered a rare entity amongst children. But currently due to the increasing prevalence of metabolic syndrome amongst the children, fatty liver is also found quite significantly in the children. But currently, in view of the increasing prevalence of metabolic syndrome, which includes obesity, junk food, outside food amongst the children, the prevalence of fatty liver has also increased in the young population. In the early stages of fatty liver, patients usually do not have any symptoms. The patients start showing symptoms once the stage of the fatty liver disease increases in view of the inflammation and scarring of the liver due to fibrosis. These patients usually show symptoms of cirrhosis of liver which includes ascites and jaundice. Fatty liver is usually diagnosed through an ultrasound. The ultrasound helps us in knowing the stage of the fatty liver. The liver function test helps us to know if there is ongoing inflammation in the liver or not, which will help us to diagnose non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. There are novel techniques like fibroscan, which help us to know the exact stage of the liver fibrosis, and at times liver biopsy is also required in order to know the extent of damage which has been done to the liver in view of the fatty liver. Lifestyle modification plays a very important role in prevention of fatty liver. Dietary restrictions, controlling your sugar levels, controlling your cholesterol levels, play a very good role and they in turn help in preventing of fatty liver. The fatty liver disease usually progresses into inflammation which is non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. At times the non-alcoholic steatohepatitis if not controlled can further lead to fibrosis of the liver which is caused due to the continuous injury to the liver cells. The fibrosis further progresses into cirrhosis and at times can even progress into liver cancer. Once the patient has reached the level of liver fibrosis, at times patient may also require liver transplantation. In a patient with fatty liver disease, Lifestyle modification plays a very important role. 
daily exercise at least half an hour walking is mandatory lifestyle modification plays an important role in patients with fatty liver disease exercise is one of the most important components to avoid fatty liver disease a patient should usually walk at least half an hour a day in order to prevent fatty liver disease sedentary lifestyle should be avoided in such patients patients with fatty liver should avoid food which is rich in starch fructose refined oils which consist mainly of potatoes corn bread and rice consumption of salads and vegetables is very good for patients with fatty liver whole grains like barley brown rice which consist of large amounts of antioxidants are good for patients with fatty liver disease studies have also shown that consumption of coffee at least 2 to 3 times a day is good for the liver Fatty liver disease does not have any treatment per se. The treatment lies in controlling the cause of fatty liver. Patients are given antioxidants for treatment of ongoing inflammation. There are new therapies in the market which prevent the fat accumulation and prevent the further progression of the disease. These medicines are used for the treatment of non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. Saroglitazar is one of those medicines which have been currently under research. and have shown good results for patients with non alcoholic fatty liver disease every patient will have some fat around the liver The ongoing inflammation caused due to non-alcoholic steatohepatitis can be reversed with the help of medicines like antioxidants, vitamin E, and saroglitazar. The ongoing inflammation can also be reversed by treating the cause of the fatty liver, like controlling your diabetes, controlling your cholesterol levels, and lifestyle modification. Patients get scared the moment they see an ultrasound report which shows fatty liver. it is nothing to be scared of just change your lifestyle and things will be taken care of